thank you for joining me I want to show you some treasures first of all have a cup of tea this is from the um, Auntie Edna collection yeah, I'll put yours there for you oh got it I've got mine here now I have been given this rather amazing hang on hold your horses I should have experimented check if I can do this I want to show you something this <laughs> hang on uh. it's been a box of treasures <laughs> it's very heavy that has been given to me by my father and I'm going to show you some things in here here we are now, can you see that beautiful young woman She's lovely, isn't she? Isn't she lovely? And photos of she gets older. Actually, stunningly beautiful. Um, so that's Auntie Edna. And then here's some very touching letters, actually. Um, we've got um, all sorts here. Um, just pop them away carefully. And here we have transcripts of of them look. Um, by her brother Gerald there's a whole load of other stuff in there so I'm going to read out some of I'll just um, now just pop it there in front of the camera now so that I can read out some of the things and some of what's got to be said um, because I think it's about time that we found out how Auntie Edna became as she did from that stunningly beautiful young woman to a crotchety old lady who had a little bit of a body, body worry. So let's see how it unfolds. Are you ready? Right, the first one is, uh, here it is. 16th of April. I haven't got a year for this, but I assume from the dress and things we're looking um, 20s, that sort of time, early 20s. Uh, London, 16th of April. Dearest Gerald, honestly, if Aunt Gertrude plays that wretched gramophone anymore, I swear I'll not be answerable for my actions. Do you know what that means? It means um, <laughs> I'm just going to do it and I don't care what the consequences are. It's all gone rather horrid here. You'll recall how Auntie felt about the time when I came out and did the season. Uh, young ladies uh, were kept at home and then they would go out and do things. Um, balls and dances are terribly tedious, boring. Uh, then she got it into her head that there was this rather eligible guardsman I should take tea with. His name is Gordon. Well, you know how I've been plagued with digestive issues and I have to say that I was somewhat apprehensive about the whole affair. Get what that means? Uh, plagued with digestive issues. That means her bum was giving her trouble. And I have to say I was somewhat apprehensive about the whole affair. She was worried. So her aunt's got it in her head. She's going to marry eligible. Um, the guardsman, his name's Gordon, but she's worried because her tummy might be a little bit disgraceful. Needless to say, Aunt chaperoned us and we had to take, and we had tea, not had to, we had tea at his rooms in Kensington. It was a splendid affair. Salon tea and cake from Fortnum and Mason's. And then, of course, the inevitable happened. I leant forward and my bottom creaked alarmingly. Alas, a lady always has to use a euphemism. A euphemism, a nice way of saying something. My darling brother, you would have laughed or given me marks out of ten. I do believe it deserved an eight. But he just looked aghast and embarrassed. What can I do? After all, what's done is done. So to cheer him up, I said, well, oh, where are we? Um, better out than in, as my old governess used to say. And so she did. Alas, that was not the sentiment that Gordon shared. He looked mortified. So I tried another tack. I'm 
terribly sorry. It must be the peas I ate at lunch. And do you know what he said? He just sat there and haughtily replied, No, it was definitely a fart. I have to report, dearest brother, that I gathered as much dignity as the occasion would allow and left the room. As I reached the door, I abandoned all restraint and let nature take its course once again. It is unfortunate that in my rush to depart, I had absentmindedly left auntie behind. She's not forgiven me, the farts or deserting her on such an awkward occasion. I'm afraid I shall be a spinster all my life unless I'm able to rid myself of this t dreadful affliction. So I've resolved to go on a quest to find the solution to my woes. Your loving sister, Edna. That was rather sweet, wasn't it? <laughs> so we'll have to see what happens to her as she sort of progresses through. Bye bye.